Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we will be solving new question, lead code question number 22, generate parenthesis. First, let's read the question. Given n pair of parenthesis, write a function to generate all combinations of well-formed parenthesis. So you will be given a pair of parenthesis. You need to make a combination. You need to make a new string of combination using those parenthesis. Let's see how to solve this question. First, let's see solve with one small example n equal to 2 that means you have a two pair of parenthesis uh, using this you need to create a combination of multiple well formed parenthesis that means you have a two uh, left side parenthesis and two right side parenthesis so what we can do is we can take a two comma two so this is the left and this is the right you have two left handed parenthesis and you have two right handed parenthesis now using this you need to make a com you need to make a well formed combina combination of parenthesis let's see how we can solve this problem so now from this if i take the left one that means reduce one from the left side then we can make one left handed parenthesis and if we reduce the right side so then it will become start the, the string start with the right hand parenthesis but this is the wrong way like this is the mean you can't make a perfect well formed with uh, starting with the right side of parenthesis so that means here the left is greater than the right so you don't need to move further because anyway it's going to give the wrong not well formed parenthesis so you can stop the process there to that side now we'll focus on this side now again uh, on the left side subtree you can you reduce the one so it will become zero comma two so then again adding two one more left handed parenthesis and to the right side just keep it one and reduce the two it means it become one so the right handed parenthesis will add so again con continue the process like that then from again here uh, you become minus one comma two so it became minus one so you don't need like you there is no it's already over like left handed parenthesis we already used you don't you don't have any left with the left handed parenthesis so you can stop the process to here left side you can move on to the right side of this part so it will become zero comma one so that means uh, you supposed to add the right handed parenthesis to the existing previous string so from again there is no left it's already reached to 0 so right you can go one more level 0 comma 0 so one left parenthesis one right parenthesis you supposed to add so finally you made one well formed parenthesis similarly uh, you have to do like this um, left side uh, 0 comma 1 that means uh, left parenthesis you supposed to add and to the if you decrease the like uh, subtract 1 from the right side then that the available parenthesis will become uh, 1 comma 0 here you can see left is greater than the right so you at the end you will um, like uh, at the end you cannot create the well formed parenthesis if it is left greater than right that you can easily observe from this diagram so zero means you supposed to add the right parenthesis here you can see uh, this is the wrong wrong way of creating the string so you don't need to move further you can stop it there from this you can go left already the left the available left parenthesis are zero you supposed to go right then it will become zero comma zero then uh, add the right more parenthesis so you've created one perfect well formed parenthesis format so finally we created two well formed combination of parenthesis using the two pair of parenthesis now we will see how to like we will see one more example with n equal to 3 so that you can clearly uh, visualize the solution say n equal to 3 that means you have three left sided parenthesis and three three right handed side parenthesis so and initially uh, empty string 
and make sure that while you generating the uh, correct strings you need to store it in separate array like any cache memory because at the end you need to return those two uh, final uh, input in, in i mean final output of the strings to the main function okay now let's reduce let's take out one left handed left side parenthesis so it will become 2 comma 3 so the string will be only one left handed parenthesis so on coming to the right side 3 comma 2 here left is greater than right so stop it here just move again from the left handed tree so it will become 1 comma 3 so the string will become 2 left handed parenthesis so this become 2 comma 2 so you will be adding 1 right handed parenthesis so from again split the tree uh, it will become 0 comma 3 so you have 3 left handed parenthesis in the string and this side 1 comma 2 that means you add one right handed parenthesis I'm just fast forwarding the solution here you can see by doing this repetition of this recursive process finally we got the two well combination of parenthesis now we will see how to write code in python and java okay, now first we will write code in python so first creating one empty array to store the results of, of the well formed generated parenthesis now creating one empty string to track every possible outcome in the recursive calls and now creating one helper function taking the three parameters left right and the string so l and r like you can get to know how many left sided parenthesis are available and as well as the right sided parenthesis are available uh, while move, moving over recursive calls so here now you need to check for some conditions if left is uh, greater than the right in that case you can't create any well formed parenthesis by take by putting the right handed parenthesis first so at the end you don't get any well formed so you can uh, cut that call before like you can create you can stop that entire call uh, you don't need to move go, go further in the tree so and as well as if left is less than zero and sorry or as well as right is less than zero that means you run, run, ran out of the available of left and right parenthesis in that case just return otherwise if left is 0 and right is 0 that means you used all left handed and right handed parenthesis and you generated one like well found parenthesis in that case just add it to the result result dot append string now call this helper function recursively so just l minus 1 comma r first you subtract from the left and add it to the string that left sided parenthesis as well as you know you do the right side you take off one parenthesis from the right side right sided parenthesis then add it to the existing string so that's it now you need to call this helper function n comma n comma string just at the end you need to return the result now let's write code in java so first here also you need to create one empty result to store the results string equal to new array list So now we'll be creating one helper function public void helper. So here we pass left int 
right or string str as well as we pass the result in result so here you are supposed to check the conditions first if l is greater than or as well as l less than 0 or write less than 0 just return left equal to equal to 0 and right equal to 0 that means you created one well formed parenthesis just add it to the result return back now recursively call this helper function l minus 1 comma or comma string plus take the left handed side and add it to the string similarly call the right side also l comma or minus 1 comma string plus comma result Now call this helper function in the main method helper n comma n comma empty string and the result finally return the result.